In today's episode, you will learn how to make a bike security system using MFRC522 RFID module and 80 Mega 328 microcontroller. The same microcontroller which is used in Arduino Uno. In this episode, you will also learn how to make a professional circuit like this. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by Will PCB, one of the top PCBs manufacturing companies. They offer great quality and service. You can test their PCB quality only at $5 for 5 PCBs. You can ask for the price details by simply clicking on the PCB online code, enter your PCB specifications and click price. Once you are satisfied with your pricing, then you can upload your Gobo files. The link is given in the description. The components that we will need for this project are number 1 MFRC522 RFID module Number 2 RFID car tag Number 3 male to female type jumper wires Number 4 12 volt SPDT type relay Number 5 terminal blocks Number 6 5 volt buzzer Number 7 1 in 4007 diodes Number 8 LED. Number 9, 330 ohm resistor. Number 10, 7805 voltage regulator. Number 11, 2N2222 NPN transistors. Number 12, 22 picofarad capacitors. Number 13, 16 megahertz crystal. Number 14, 10 microfarad capacitor. Number 15, 10K resistors. Number 16, base socket for 80 mega 328 microcontroller. Number 17, boot loaded 80 Mega 328 microcontroller and number 18, Arduino Uno which will be used for uploading the program into 80 Mega 328 microcontroller. These components can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. After I designed my PCB using Catsoft Eagle, then I sent my PCB Gobo files to Will PCB and make an order of 50 PCBs. These are the PCBs which I just received properly documented containing all the information about the PCBs. As you can see the quality is really great. I'm 100% satisfied with your work. If you want to learn how to make a PCB then you can watch my tutorial on PCB designing. The link is given in the description. Let's start with the power supply. This is the terminal block where we connect the 12 volt and ground wires. One in four zero zero seven diode is connected which protect the circuit if in case you connect the wires in a wrong way. The cathode side of the diode is connected with the input pin of the 7805 voltage regulator. The middle pin of the 7805 voltage regulator is connected with ground. A 330 ohm resistor is connected with the output of the regulator. This resistor is connected in series with the LED anode side. This is a current limiting resistor. The other leg of the LED is connected with the ground. A 10 microfarad capacitor is also connected at the output of the voltage regulator. A 10K resistor is connected with pin number 1 of the 80 Mega 328 microcontroller and the other side of the 10k resistor is connected with 5 volt. A 5 volt wire is also connected with pin number 7 of the controller. Pin number 8 of the controller is connected with ground. A 16 megahertz crystal is connected with pin number 9 and pin number 10 of the controller. 22 picofarad capacitors are connected with the 16 megahertz crystal. Pin number 11 which is the digital pin 5 is connected with the 10k resistor and the other side of the 10k resistor is connected with the base of 2N2222 NPN transistor. The emitter is connected with ground while the collector is connected with the ground pin of the buzzer. This transistor will be used to control this buzzer while the buzzer positive pin is connected with the 5 volt. Pin number 12 which is the digital pin 6 will be used to control this relay. The emitter is connected with ground while the collector is connected with one side of the relay coil while the other side of the relay coil is connected with 12 volt. This transistor is selected after the calculations. If you want to learn how to perform the relay driver circuit design calculation then you should watch my tutorial on relay driver circuit design calculations. 
this tutorial covers the relay pinouts, finding the relay coil resistance and calculations. A diode is used across the relay coil for big MF protection. A terminal block is connected at the output of the relay coil. These two pins 9 to 13 are connected with the RFID module. First of all, insert the 12 volt SPDT type relay into the PCB board. Then after this, you can see it's a diode. As you can see, this silver line side is the cathode. As you can see, this line is the cathode side. Now simply insert this diode. Now the next component is the 2 in 2 2 2 2 NPN transistor. As you can see, it's labeled with emitter, base and collector. This is 2 in 2 2 2 2 2 NPN transistor. The leftmost leg is the emitter, the middle one is the base and the rightmost leg is the collector. Now let's insert the buzzer. As you can see, it's uh, clearly labeled with a positive sign, which shows the positive pin of the buzzer. The buzzer's longer leg is the positive and the shorter one is the ground. As you can see, this PCB is properly labeled. Similarly, insert all the remaining components. So now as you can see, all the components are inserted into the PCB board. Now we will start the soldering. So now as you can see, the soldering is done and it looks pretty cool. Now I will solder female headers over here for the RFID module. I will be back after the soldering. So as you can see, our soldering is completed. I connected the MFRC522 RFID module using male to female type jumper wires. Few days back, I posted a tutorial on Arduino MFRC522 RFID module pinouts interfacing how to read RFID takes identity number and use. In this tutorial, I covered all the basics like interfacing, finding the identity numbers of the takes. I am using the same RFID take. So if you don't know how to find the RFID take identity number, then you should watch this tutorial. The link is given in the description. This is the program written for the bike security system using MFRC522 RFID module. As you know, RFID module communicates with the controller using SPI bus. In Arduino and Mega, the SPI pins are different. If you are using Arduino, then connect the pins in the same way as I connected. But if you want to use Mega, then connect RST with pin number 5, SS with pin number 53, MOSI with pin number 51, MISO with pin number 50, and SCK with pin number 52. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure that you download these two libraries. You can download these libraries from GitHub. After you download the necessary folders, then simply copy and paste them into the Arduino's library folder. As you can see, I already downloaded these two libraries. This is the same program with a little modification which I used in RFID-based student's attendance system. For the complete understanding, you can watch this tutorial. The link is given in the description. Integer relay equals 6. This will be used to control the relay. Integer flag is equal to 0. This is a flag and will be used to stop the unnecessary repetition of code. Integer buzzer equals 5. This is used to control the buzzer. Integer relay state equals 0. This is used to monitor the relay, whether it is on or off. Serial dot begin 9600 initialize serial communications with the PC and this is only used for the debugging purposes. Once the programming is completed and you are satisfied with the program, then you can comment this line. Then these instructions are used to set the relay and buzzer is output using the pin mode functions. SPI dot begin function which init the SPI bus. 
mfrc522.pcd underscore in it in it uh, the mfrc522 car then starts a while loop function relay states equal digital read relay this instruction is used to read the relay state whether it is on or off this condition is used to check the RFID take card this is the identity number of the RFID take 192.47.254 and 121 if it detects the same RFID card then it simply change the relay state and then there is a delay of two seconds then these two conditions are used to turn on and turn off the buzzer which will be used as the indication whether the delay is on or off if the buzzer on and off three times then it means the relay is on and if turn on and turn off only one time then it means the relay is off now we are done with the programming now insert 80 mega 3 to 8 microcontroller into the Arduino board connect Arduino with the laptop and upload the program now this 80 mega 3 to 8 microcontroller is ready and can be used in this circuit. Now let's test this circuit before we can install this circuit in a bike. So now as you can see the bike isn't starting. Okay, and now you can. And now it's so again it's turned off. And the three beep means that uh, now it's in the anti-theft protection. you like this episode like and share this video with your friends see you in next episode and thanks for watching